Okay, everyone, the ingredients we're going to use, I'm going to use five apples. You can use the apples of your choice. I have these, uh, what, uh, I can't remember what the name of these are. And, well, I have two, three red apples and two Granny Smith apples because I like the uh, combo that way. We're going to use a half, a, four ounces or four, not four ounces, four tablespoons of uh, salted butter. We're going to use... Um, Cornstarch, we're gonna use a pinch of salt. If you have lemon, use lemon. I have a lime. We're gonna use like the juice of one of these for so that our apples don't get a dark color. And we're gonna use cinnamon. If you have nutmeg, which I do in my house, then I forgot to bring it. If you have nutmeg, you're gonna to wanna to add a pinch of that too. Hi everyone, good morning. I'm Evie. I'm Leasing. And what we're gonna have for you guys today are gonna to be they're called country fried apples, but this is the recipe from the Cracker Barrel when you go for breakfast and they give you that little bowl of nice warm apples in a glaze. So that's what we'll be doing. She's never had them, so I've never had them. It's basically, it basically tastes or is like the filling for an apple pie. Apple pie filling. Or apple, you know, or an apple turnover. Okay. So yeah, that's and we'll be doing it in the bread thumbnail. Awesome. Yeah, and um, she came up with a good idea, but we'll show you that later. So, um... Yeah, let's get to the ingredients. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna peel all of our apples. My lovely assistant has already started, and she's only got one peeler, and I didn't bring one. But she peels, and I will slice these bad boys up. So what I do is I cut it in half, and then the half in half. Quarters, you mean? Can you see quarters? Yes, we said sarcastic. We said it. Go. Yeah. Let me change here. Blooper. Okay, so I cut it in fours. Then I just put my knife like this on an angle. And it's nice and clean. And you just slice them like this. This is what you want. I'm going to do this for all of our apples. Remember, if you guys just want to do red apple, that's fine. We're doing ours with um, Granny Smith also because we like the taste of it. Tangy. Right? It tastes really good. I like the sour. Like so is that just uh, sweet apple? It's like, oh, what? Something's missing. Something's tanginess. missing. Yeah, it's the, it's the um, tanginess. Yeah, the tanginess makes you like it. What do you need your Granny Smith with, Lisa? Your apples? Just plain or do you ever do peanut butter? Peanut butter. Oh, oh yeah. Butter. yeah butter. It's so good. It reminds me right away of the, uh, the candy apples. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Affy tacos. Affy tacos. Yeah, that's the yeah. So this is what we're gonna be doing, guys. We're gonna put this in a bowl, and then we're gonna cut up our lime. If your lime doesn't have a lot of juice, put it in the microwave for seven to ten seconds, and then just roll it and squeeze it. You should be good to go. You can also do it with a lemon. You're supposed to have a lemon. I didn't have lemon, but it's all the same. That we're gonna be doing this for all the apples, and then we'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, so as you can see, our apples are already peeled and sliced. What I wanted to say was, if you don't want to peel your apples, you can leave your peels on also. I prefer it like this. Okay. Then roll out your lemon or your lime. Lisi doesn't have a squeezer, lime squeezer, she said, for your hands. So I was going to say, oh, nice and juicy. Yeah, so you squeeze that. You need a whole water or just half? I think I may just go with half. Let me see how much liquid that looks. And you have a give me a plastic one so it doesn't clink so much. My lovely assistant. <laughs> this is basically so that your apples don't turn brown on you, you know, with that ugly dark color. Yeah, half a line is good enough for me right here. Okay. So we're gonna add one fourth cup of sugar. You can add up to half a cup if you like. If you don't like it extra sweet. What I wanted to say was, for a healthier alternative, you can use the stevia granulated sugar or the sugar of your choice. Just make it a little healthier. We're gonna add a teaspoon. Ah, yo, because you didn't need a teaspoon. We're gonna add a teaspoon, oh, teaspoon, or as much cinnamon as you like. Look at this one, look at this one. Nope, I think it might be the last one we said. That's my half, this is my one. Yes. 
Yeah, because I have her eyeballs on. <laughs> Teaspoon of cinnamon, like I said, if you want more, add more. And then we're gonna add a pinch of salt. Literally a pinch of salt because our butter is salted. And when you make desserts, always add a pinch of salt. It makes a huge difference, a huge difference. Then what you want is a tablespoon of cornstarch. Like I said, if you have nutmeg, add about an eighth teaspoon of that. If you don't have it, I have it in my house. Forgot to bring it. And it easy because I have nutmeg. Doesn't have nutmeg so um, I don't But bake. that's okay. Yeah, she she got nutmeg. So I'm just gonna give this a good mix right here, and then we're gonna go straight to our our Talisi stove. Talisi. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. So let me tell you, or Lisi, tell them about your idea. What we're gonna do with this later to taste. Oh, I mean, it's um, just taking um, two slices of bread, putting, uh, you put the food in first. Huh? You put the food in first, and then we like with a cup or something, just cut around so that you don't get the edges. Mm -hmm. And then you pair it with butter. So we're gonna try one of those to make it like a little bit. like a little turnover. See that half of um, lime juice was enough because it's nice yeah. and fruity. Now I've seen people do this video. I've seen people do this recipe without any cornstarch. I don't know how you do it because you just have the cinnamon and the apple. It thickens but, it up. Yeah, but it's not glossy. It's not um, syrupy or. You, it doesn't develop the glaze like this. That's what I'm saying. That yeah. would thicken it up. This would. This is what makes it have that glaze. So you do want to add your tablespoon of um, cornstarch. So we're ready to go to the Tbilisi stove. Remember, we're gonna use half a stick of salted butter. Okay, so we're by the stove now, and remember, we're gonna use half a stick of butter. I'm using salted butter. What's up, Lisi? We're gonna let this melt off. My stove, or Lisi's stove, is on high right now, but we're gonna lower that to a medium because we don't need our butter to burn and we don't want our um, apples to be undercooked. Okay, so our butter is Practically all melted. There it is. And what you want to do now, you want to add your apples and all the little juices you developed. And I lowered my stove down to a number four or five or just on a medium. DC stove is electric, so it's a little different for me, but that's what we have. We're just going to be stirring this around for a little bit. Once in a while, just come and move it around, and that'll be it. I'm going to tell you a little trick that I learned from somebody else. You'll, the way you know that this is made is if you take a toothpick, you poke your apple. If the apple still hangs onto it, that means your apple still needs a little bit more cooking. As soon as you put the toothpick in after a little bit, if the apple slides right off your toothpick, that means it's already done. So I'm gonna use the same concept with a fork. I don't know if it works out the same way, but it should. So we're just gonna let these hang out here for a little while, and we'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this cook off for a little bit. It's on medium, you can put it on medium low. We're gonna put a lid on it so it can help uh, cook the um, apples a little quicker. Now you see it try to thicken up a lot and quick, quicker before your apples are done, you can add uh, at least one fourth, or a little bit less than one fourth cup of water just so that it can continue cooking. Okay, so this is really looking like so far. Mm -hmm. If you guys wanna use brown sugar instead of the regular granulated sugar, you can also do that. See, I feel like mine needs a little bit more liquid. So I'm actually gonna add one fourth cup of water. It's gonna thicken up because I have the cornstarch in here. So we're gonna let this go for a little bit longer. We're gonna put our lid back on. Just wanted to give it a quick mix. Don't go too far because you do have to babysit this a little. Remember, sugar melts, um, burns, so 
we're gonna keep this. Keep an eye on it. Okay, Lisa, put our lid back on there. Okay, everyone, we're gonna give this one last swoosh. Look at how much glaze I have in mine. If you don't want that much glaze in yours, then don't add the one fourth cup of water because your apples will let out some water also. But this is what it looks like, and we're gonna do our fork thingy. It's done. If your apple slides off your fork or your toothpick, it is done. Now, if it holds on to it, that means your apple needs a little bit more cooking time. But this is what it looks like, and it smells delicious. So, let's go to the plating. What are putting in your apples? Put your apples. Come here. You come on this side. Put your apples. Oh, you took out the stuff? What stuff? I oh, had something to serve right there. Mm -hmm. You want me to? Yeah, just put some in there. So we don't need a lot of glaze then, right? I mean, you want to put some, but not a whole bunch, yeah. Should that be enough right there, Lisa, or a little bit more? I think it be fine, because we're going to still put it in. Oh, yeah, yeah. She said glaze. Duh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mine, I could. It's mine, I can. Wow. You're definitely going to need a pan. So, we're just gonna try and see if this one will work. Just do your little circle, that's it. Oh, maybe this is too small, right? The other yeah. one looks too big and this one looks too small? Yeah. And of course, we're gonna, we don't have a um, biscuit <laughs> cutter or something like that. I don't bake she people. Bake. Lizzie, we're still see. trying with that, because it doesn't. Go ahead, well, can't you just give it a square cut? Doesn't matter. Well, we could probably do, do the square cut. If you don't have a knife or... Uh, or Biscuit cutter, just do the. Let's try that. Yeah. I want to do the whole thing just so you could get a nice circle, but that's fine. Let's try to cut this and then we'll just cut all the crimp way it. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just crimp it. I don't think I need to see maybe that's why I wanted to do it the other way. But. Yeah, we're going to probably be seeing it, but it's okay. We can probably just crimp it still and. Side so this stuff is supposed to. This stuff was either way gonna either go to the garbage or something, so that's gone. Alright. Can't you just like Yeah, I think now we just can probably maybe now I can just probably do a reverse on it. Yep. Put your weight on it, girlfriend. Put your weight on it. Mm -hmm. Put your weight on it. And yeah, I don't want to because that's what I don't want happening. I just want to make sure that it crimps. Yeah. If you have a crimper, use it with a crimper. Yeah, that. Or just do what Lizzie's doing. Go the other way. <laughs> As long as it works. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. And then what she's gonna do is she's gonna finish cooking it off for me. Oh yeah. We're gonna use a little bit of butter. I'm down my house. She's so paranoid because the alarms have been off every for three days in a row now, right? Yes. Fire alarm. Fire alarm has been going off three days in a row. Okay. The people are. Bring those over. Grab your machine, you Bring them over. All right, we're on the move, y'all. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a very small pat of butter in here and let that melt. And then we're going to put our... Wow. <laughs> our... What are we calling it? I don't know. <laughs> Lisey stuffed bread. It's probably overstuffed and that's probably why it's a little broken on top, but yeah. I would put it face down first, right? Are you done? Okay. I think so. Just to see if it'll toast it. And we're gonna not toast escape. this. If it doesn't work, you're editing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had it on really low because I didn't want my butter to burn, but it's already in here. We're gonna give this a little mashy mash right here. Is that even a word? Has anybody tried this? Lisa says she had already seen this on YouTube. I've never seen it. But damn, I'm ready to try it. I see my new butter now. Oop. Make sure you get a nice golden um, color in the bottom before don't you try to pushing it, it over. No? Yeah. It's supposed to be poofy? Okay. I don't know that it's supposed to be pushy. I just, uh, poofy, I just don't want you to like spoil its guts out. Uh, no, nothing's coming out. I'm just waiting for it to get dark yeah. on that side. Well, not dark, you know what I mean. A nice golden brown. Oh, we're almost there, guys. I'm over there. Flip it that way. It's an electric stove. It doesn't need heat evenly. And DC's OCD is on right now. Yeah. 
But it did taste good. It reminds me exactly of a um, apple pie. The apple pies, yeah. Hey, like, Scabby, do you want me to bring you some? She goes, eh, not really. I go put there like the turnover, the apple one. She goes, eh, no, not really. She, was doing good she likes She likes more the cherry one. Oh, oh. see, nice yeah. and crispy. Now we're going to wait for the next side to do the same thing, and that should be it. I think on the internet they might actually be frying it. Oh, with the bread? Really? Crispy. Oh, I get it. Ooh, but you know how much oil that bread's going to soak it? I would do a batter for it, though. Dip it in the batter, mm -hmm. and then... Hey, that's too much work. Just have an apple pie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I ain't got ice cream. Oh, that would be so good with ice cream. Ooh, guess what, y'all? It is done. Look at that. Let's try it. Reset the plate for us, please. Let's see. We're gonna put it in here and then we're gonna go cut it already. Oops. That was a blooper. Just like a little turnover. Look at the little glaze, the apples. This is actually really good. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. This is actually really good. The only thing I would do is I'll take a little bit of glaze because you can't put a lot in the bread, and I would definitely put some here. What did you add glaze to it? It's really good. Mmm. -hmm. This turned out really good. This is a good idea. On a different little dish, put a little bit of the glaze so you can dunk it like a dunk, like a yeah, a sauce for dipping. Delicious. Yeah. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Mmm. It's really simple. It's just the bread. That way it doesn't go to waste, people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. delicious. And that's why we're fat. <laughs> Agree to that, Lisa. It was just so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. As she's eating. This is it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Hope you look forward to more of our craziness because I have a vlog coming up for you guys in a little bit. And um, yeah, thank you guys for spending your time with us. We will catch you in the next one. Take care and God bless. Bye. Bye.